Hi, I'm Lexi, and today I want to present you Text Caps, a new task and a new dataset for image captioning with reading comprehension. I work on this project as part of my residency at FAIR, together with Ronhan, Markus, and Amanpreet. You may wonder, what is common between all these images? Well, the answer is pretty simple. They all contain text. Text is actually quite common in our environment, and it makes a significant part of the visual information we receive. As you may expect, it makes reading very important to visually impaired people. When it comes to describing the image, 21% of questions visually impaired people ask are about the text in it. So can state-of-the-art caption models handle this task? Taking for example such an image, the person who would need to describe it would definitely use text in the description, such as an advertisement shows the LG Optimus L9 phone. However, existing state-of-the-art algorithms are not able to do it. So I want to address this issue and accelerate further research in this direction. The issue is simple. Existing models cannot treat. And it's easy to understand, since this is actually a quite difficult task. The model needs first to detect and extract text from the scene, as well as the visual properties of the objects, and then it needs to combine this information and generate a grammatically correct description. There are several technical challenges on the way, such as the model needs to understand relations between multiple OCR tokens, but their location, color, font, size, or other properties as well as their relation to visual context. The model needs to switch multiple times between vocabulary words and OCR tokens, as in this example where the model needs to switch to OCR to input the word Samsung. Then it needs to switch back to vocabulary for the words phone and add, and then again to OCR to add 1119. Furthermore, the model even may need to paraphrase the text and infer information from it, as it often happens in natural language. And also, the model needs to be able to read new text from the images, which was not present in the training set, and integrated in the caption, which could be referred to as zero shot. We think it's naive to expect that such capabilities will emerge by themselves from existing data. So, for that purpose, we created text caps. We collected and validated more than 140,000 captions for 28,000 images. The original images were taken from Open Images dataset and were filtered to those which contained text in them. We used the same images as in Text QA dataset to enable knowledge transfer experiments. Several examples of collected captions can be seen below. We ensured that collected captions require reading the text through a two-step annotation process. Annotators were asked to read the text in the image and then integrate this information, verbatim or not, in a sentence, whereas five evaluators were asked to verify whether the collected captions require text reading. Our estimation shows that around 40% of all text in the images was captured in the collected captions. Eventually, the statistics show that text caps contain many more OCR tokens in the captions as well as in the images than the popular Coco Captions dataset. While Coco Captions contains only 2.7% of captions with OCR tokens, in our dataset this number is higher than 80%. And the majority of our captions, 56.8%, contain not just one, but multiple OCR tokens which demonstrate multi-word reading. This is only the case for less than a percent of Coca captions. Our TextCaps dataset is also very diverse and contains a lot of unique tokens. More than 9,000 tokens appear only once in the whole dataset, while 75% appear less than 5 times. And even in the test set, roughly half of the tokens appear for the first time, which means it is a challenging zero-shot scenario. We have evaluated the technical complexity of our data and found that the majority of captions require at least two switches between OCR and vocabulary, which creates a significant difference with COCO and even text QA. Next, we used our data to train and evaluate popular image captioning algorithms 
as well as top performing text QA model M4C, which we adopted to our task. M4C consists of multimodal transformer and is able to copy the OCR tokens in the predictions via pointer network. It uses special and visual embeddings for image objects and semantic special and visual embeddings for OCR tokens. Next, we present the results of our experiments. The automatic evaluation showed that conventional models like BUTD and AOA net indeed perform poorly on this task, while our proposed emphasis captioner does much better. Though there is still a large gap to human performance, which may be decreased, for example, with better OCR recognition. Human evaluation showed the same trend. In fact, we tried to question whether standard metrics like Blue and Cider are suitable for our task, since they were not designed to take into account OCR. So we performed another subjective study, and in the end we found a high correlation between values of standard metrics and human scores, with Cider and Meteor demonstrating the highest correlation. The ablation study showed that the ability to copy OCR tokens as well as access to their semantic, spatial, and visual information are crucial for good performance of MFC model. So our final model combines all of them. It is clear that OCR quality itself has a significant impact on the text reading. But how big is it exactly? To answer this question, we collected ground truth OCR tokens. We found that using ground truth OCR during inference allows to increase CIDR score for 15 units, while having ground truth OCR also during training makes the whole 23 units difference. You can see that predictions have reasonable quality and indeed incorporate the text from the image, like number 2012 in this image, or multiple words in this image. Also, their quality highly depends on OCR mistakes, as can be seen in this example, where the model exactly copied caster instead of customers and first instead of first, because that's how OCR system recognized them. Apart from experimenting on our dataset, using text caps also allow us to improve reading abilities on data from other datasets, such as Coca captions. Even when we use the same emphasis model with reading capabilities, it doesn't read the text in the images when trained solely on COCA data. We also organized a public challenge on TextCap's dataset. The winner team has improved the performance of the emphasis model even further by using automatically extracted OCR tokens of better quality, which show the performance gain in metrics as well as human scores. So, in conclusion, we propose a new task and a new large dataset. We show that this task creates new challenges, such as extracting text from the images and combining it with vocabulary. Our analysis shows that conventional models fail on this task, whereas models with copying capabilities produce promising results. But there is still a lot of room to human performance. Our code is designed using MMF, a modular, modular framework for multimodal AI tasks. You can find and use your favorite models there or at a custom one. We welcome all community contributions. Our challenge server is still active, so we invite you to participate, as well as we invite you to check out our code and data. Thank you for your attention.